This video was originally one of a five-part free course centered around habits you can develop to make you a better photographer no matter what level you're working at. All these habits are non-technical in nature. You don't need any expensive equipment, nor do you need to be a technical genius. In fact, they're just as valuable for somebody who's been shooting photographs for a long time as they are to someone just starting out. Now this video should give you pretty much all you need, but if you want more depth, there's a dedicated post over on my blog, photosmudger.com, which will have a transcript along with any graphics or imagery that might accompany the video. This video is all about the importance of keeping things simple. Okay, let's talk about a really sensitive issue, equipment. Everybody loves to buy equipment, don't they? Okay, now I'm no exception. Uh, besides the great big lump of metal and glass hanging around my neck, I own something in the region of, wait for it, 45,000 pounds worth of equipment. I know that because of course it's all insured, I'm a professional, I have several camera bodies, I have lights, computers, stands, tripods, you name it, okay? And we all love to buy it. Like I say, I'm definitely no exception to that. I understand everybody likes equipment, everybody likes the next new shiny thing, and the next new shiny thing will change your photography and make you a better photographer. Mm, well, yeah. I'll agree that good equipment can make your job easier, without a doubt, and certain types of equipment can open up certain other areas of photography, but equipment certainly isn't going to be the answer, and having lots of equipment, without a doubt, can make things very, very difficult for you, because you will end up spending far too much time fiddling with your equipment, setting the lights right, wondering what the settings are on your new camera, or why such a thing isn't working properly, and you will miss what's happening in front of you. I don't, just, I don't just mean miss the moment it happens. I mean, you won't be in the moment. You won't be there when the sunrise happens. You won't, be in, you won't be communicating with your model well if you're shooting a portrait or your subject. You'll just be fiddling over your light settings and you'll say, oh, why isn't this tighter on the tripod or wherever it might be, okay? We've all heard of the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid, right? It's wonderfully tempting to just buy everything under the sun and think, oh, if I had that, if I had that, if I had that, everything would be perfect. The best camera is the camera you've got with you. Buying something big, heavy and expensive, and this goes beyond cameras to tripods, to lights, to everything, doesn't really work if you then leave it in the boot of the car, right? And I suspect we've all been there at some point or other. You, you, you treat yourself to a shiny new toy and, and then you, you get away and you're just like, oh, bloody hell, this is heavy. I can't be bothered to carry this around. And it stays in the car or it stays at home. Meanwhile, you can take your camera phone with you and you get some nice pictures, okay? Don't be caught in the trap of thinking that you know, the latest, greatest, biggest, heaviest, fastest thing is what you need, okay? It won't be. Very easy to chase that next piece of equipment, that next upgrade that will suddenly transform your photography. Now, I don't mind admitting that from time to time, a certain piece of equipment will make an incremental change in what you shoot. It'll open up areas that weren't previously open to you. But there's no one piece of equipment that is suddenly gonna transform your work. I guarantee you this. As somebody who's been taking pictures for in excess of 20 years and has owned an awful lot of equipment and has thrown an awful lot of money at these things, there is no one tool that is suddenly gonna transform your life, so don't fall for that trap. Instead, Keep things simple. Get to a point where you have technical mastery over what you've already got, and then you can begin to move on. Then you can think, okay, well, what I've got, I'm at the very limits of what it can produce. I need to expand and spend much more time working on your feedback mechanism, examining what you're actually photographing, as we've already talked about, and then you'll progress at a much, much faster rate, and you'll also have more money in your pocket.